Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our live from Hiroshima, organized by ICANN, Peace Boat, and Hope Project. I am Mayu Seto, a singer-songwriter in Hiroshima. I, I will be your guide for this live streaming event. And behind the camera, Lika of Peace Boat. Is also here. Welcome, everybody. Please send us. Um, it is 8.10 a.m. here in Japan. I am in Hiroshima, where the atomic bomb was dropped exactly 78 years ago on Noga 6, 1945. One single bomb that the United States dropped that day killed hundreds of thousands of people in the nation. It is said that approximately 140,000 people died in Hiroshima by the end of that year. It's still relatively early in the morning, but it is already hot and humid here. I believe it was just like this, hot and humid, 78 years ago too. Many survivors told me how it was very hot and beautiful day with the blue sky like today in Hiroshima back in 1945. I'd like you to join me to remember a powerful and painful fact that there were lights beneath the mushroom crowd in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Those cities were vibrant cities. Until World War II, Hiroshima City had been the political and economic center of the southern west region of Japan. Well, that is the Eibon Dome. It stands on the bank of the Motoyasu River, and you can see the river just here. This dome is the remains of Hiroshima Prefectural Industrial Promotion Zone, which was nearly, which was nearly directly under the atomic bomb that exploded at 8.15 a.m. Heat blazing from above consumed the entire building, killing, killing everyone in it. Because the blast attacked the building from vertically straight overhead, some walls escaped through the collapse, along with the wire fire frame, oh, sorry, along with the fire frame, along with the wire framework of the dome, these form the shape that has become a symbol of Hiroshima. Just I started this life, at 8 a.m., the peace memorial ceremony began in front of the Senate for the Avon victims in the Peace Park. Every year, the city of Hiroshima holds the peace memorial ceremony to console the souls of those lost to the atomic bombing. Many Hibaksha, as well as people who lost their family members in the bombing, attend the ceremony. At exactly 8.15 a.m., the time the atomic bomb was dropped, the peace, bu peace bell rings. Sirens sound all over the city. And for one minute, those at the ceremony and many people in Japan pay silent tribute to the victims of the atomic bombing and pray for the realization of the world without nuclear weapons. It's going to be 8.15 a.m. very soon. When the time comes, I will also stop talking and pray for one minute. I hope you will join our prayer from wherever you are. Again, very soon. I hope you will join our prayer from wherever you are.
I'm standing inside the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. Let's move over there. At the time of the bombing, it is estimated that about 6,500 people lived in this district. When the atomic bomb exploded on August 6, 1945, in addition to the usual inhabitants, thousands of volunteer army corps members and mobilized students were in the area demolishing buildings for a fire lane. Nearly all of these lives, including 12 to 14 year old students working on the street, were snuffed out as the entire district vanished instantly. Behind me is the rest house. This was originally a kimono, Japanese clothing shop, and experienced atomic bombing. Not only people, but also their belongings were exposed to the bomb. Among them is an A-bomb piano, which belonged to a girl named Akiko Kawamoto. Today, I introduce you to the tune of this piano so that we can put together our prayers to console Akiko and the law.
Actually, I played the piano a few months ago. At the time, I realized this piano and Akiko were the same name as my grandmother. We entered Hiroshima City 10 days after the bombing. exposed to radiation and became Shibata. It was difficult for my grandmother, like many other survivors, to talk about her experience of the Ebon. When I played the piano, I felt I was talking with a charming, heartwarming old lady. I felt the piano is alive. And the piano traveled around Japan on board the boat in 2019. I'm very happy to announce that people will research the Kibaksa project on board, on board the ship in April 2024. Then, let us have one more piece of music of the piano with a message of each Kibaksa representative of the whole project. And we will close this slide at the new event. Thank you very much for all of you and hope you felt what it is like in Hiroshima on August 6th. Thank you.